Hi guys. So right now I'm driving back to the old house to just check on the status. Okay, let me catch you up. Sorry. Started this uh, vlog so bad already. Okay, so yesterday I got... Okay, even before then. You guys know we got a new house. We're selling our old house. And I've been in the middle of getting this house back to 100%. So painting the walls, any holes that we put in the walls, getting all that patched up, fixing the exterior, um, get, kind of having a gardener come out, steaming the carpets, all that stuff. So yesterday was the last of all that, which is steaming the carpet. And the carpets were damp, so I left all the windows open. So I'm driving back now to um, check on the carpet. I'm coming from JK News, so I look kind of cute like I don't know if you can see my shoes where are they there I don't know I'm driving and as I was doing that you're gonna go oh thank you you better be polite when people are nice to you on the street and use your signals anyway so I'm on my way to my old house right now and I have to poop I had a lot of coffee I had to poop for some reason oh I saw what it was they closed off one of the streets. So there's so much fucking traffic, right? And I'm sorry to share it. I'm not really sorry. I take that back. I'm not sorry. Um, We all poop. And it's time for you. If it made you uncomfortable, you got to ask yourself, why is it uncomfortable? Uh, probably because you're talking about shit, Gio, and that's nasty. Okay, I agree. You're right. Anyway, um, so I have to poop, right? So I pull over. I don't poop on the street. I pull over to at a Denny's. And because I'm familiar with the area, I know where the bathroom is. So I just walk right in and I poop. That's not the part I wanted to share, but it was necessary for this story. So, um, I get back in my car. I'm like, oh my God, thank God. Cause I thought I was really going to shit myself. Like I really thought I was going to shit myself. So I get back in my car and I'm like, oh my God, I look so cute today. And I just did the most heinous thing ever. I took a shit, which is normal, right? We all shit. That's not my point. My point is. How can something that looks so cute on the outside, and yes, I'm blowing my own whistle. No, wait, that's telling on myself. I'm blowing smoke up my own ass. That one's pretty good. Okay. Um, that looks so cute on the outside. Just do some crazy ass shit in the toilet bowl, and the nastiest shit just come out of them. And then that thought led me to think, um, wow, someone as perfect and beautiful as, I don't know, J-Lo or Kim Kardashian or... I don't know, you fill in the blank with whatever hot celebrity you think is out there. And then picture them all dressed up on the red carpet, right? That's like the most glam that they'll be. Um, and then picture them on the toilet taking a fat shit. Like it makes them human really fucking fast. And it was kind of a comforting thought. Because I'm like, we all take shit. And we all sit in the same fucking position on similar style toilets because there's only so many styles of toilets unless it's like on the floor but there's only certain I mean there's only a handful of different designs and toilets and most of them are aesthetic but the function is the exact same we all sit on it and I was like we're all humans after all and I felt very inspired to share that on the vlog today I wanted that to be the first thing but anyway I'm here and I hope I haven't grossed you out too much but you know I just wanted to share how human and how connected we all really are. So you're welcome. Okay, so I'm inside right now and it's so clean now. The floor has like zero stains. Like, look at that. And the walls are white. Everything is restored and back to normal. And then we had like this gnarly, oh, there's no more baby gate. We had this really gnarly, oh man still a little bit damp but yeah we had this really bad stain here but it's gone right yes it's gone oh man this didn't come out the coffee how did dog piss come out but not the coffee shit uh oh does coffee really stain that bad cause that's straight up coffee y'all and that was just dog piss. Fuck my life, I didn't see this. Okay, well, we're all learning together. Well, this is a lot. What is this? Okay. Yes, everything's dry. Okay. 
I just wanted to close all the windows, but that's crazy. I didn't know coffee stained that crazy. Damn it. I thought everything was clean. I fucked up. Oh well. Yeah, but everything looks good. Why am I whispering? What the fuck? Okay. We're ready to rock. The house is good. Um, in a previous in a previous, um, oh, here it is. In a previous vlog, I was looking, I was getting really teary-eyed and really sad that I was leaving this place because there were so many memories, but now that the house is clean, it's like it wiped, not that it wiped the memories, but I feel some AC, but it, um, I feel like this, this is no longer my house. It belongs to someone else now. And I can't wait until this house makes other people happy. <sighs> Alright, filming JK News right now. Taking a break and Jess is about to come in. Um, which I think is really dope because uh, if you guys don't know, we have an all-female podcast called Hey Bitch. And it's a really cool podcast with really dope chicks that you already know. It's Nikki, Tiff, Jess, Gina, Bose, and myself, and we talk about everything that has happened in our life, successes, failures, uh, business, relationship, and and we just share our stories, and you so happen to be there listening to them, but I think it's dope that Jess is going to come on because she hasn't really been on camera or doing podcasts for a very long time, and she's killing it, so I can't wait till this bitch gets here. I'm going to put the pressure on her real good. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to put the pressure on her, but yeah, we're taking a break wait, waiting on her. Damn, this is really close. Waiting on who? Your lady. Oh, you talking about Jessica? Yeah. Okay. Why, you got something to say about her? Yeah, I love her. <laughs> hey, um, so we want to hear the song you wrote for her. Yeah, I want to hear it. No. Yeah, dude, you <laughs> what happened? That was that's so like, fast. That's like no. my dick. Oh, uh, really? We're never gonna hear it. We're never gonna see your dick. I you were gonna say really. We're never gonna see your <laughs> that's dick. I, that's too. That sounds like we're never gonna see your dick. Wait, but that means you just isn't gonna see it for at least a year. Oh no. Yep. Wait, no one knows what we're talking about. I just want to hear. I just want to hear the song one day. Yeah. Let me take music lessons. You know what's crazy is I always forget. I was telling Bart this maybe yesterday. I was like, I always forget that Joe was a rapper and like in music. Hey, right. And you were really good. Thank you. So um, I was like, I wonder how that right fucking. How the, oh, you have an album? Yeah. Are you going to re-release it? Um, so uh, people don't have CD players rolling? anymore. You said so. it for a I mean, you just put it online? What are you talking about? I don't know how to rip it because I don't even have a ability to put CD stuff on the computer. Uh, well, actually, it is online somewhere, like in the abyss. It, it is out online. That's so tight. Yeah. I always actually, forget, I dude. I googled Joe Joverdo's music and a couple of his music videos popped up. I guess it did. Is it on his YouTube? Because that would nope. be bad. Oh, come on. There is. There's a music video somewhere. Bart's in it. Um, a bunch of my friends. You know what's nuts, too? My friend Toki Monster is in it, too, before she was Toki Monster. And Jet Li before he was Jet Li. Before he was Jet Li. Yeah. yeah. Or before, yeah, Poriotics guys were Poriotics. Yeah, he was your biggest fan. It's crazy. Fan. There's so much history there. Oh, the memories are amazing. I forget, too, that I did that. But I do know that my number one art and the thing that I connect to the world <laughs> the most is music. But well, then why the fuck are you doing this? <laughs> because it's like, okay, it's one of those things where this just worked the best. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you should reconsider or try to add I'll to leave it. Leave then. I'll, I'll, I'm starting a band. Joe, fuck that. Can you tell me what is the song romantic? Is it like a romantic yeah. song? It's it's. What's the song? what's the chorus? What's the chorus? It's a love song. I don't remember. I love you, baby, my Jess, my Jet Chica. No. Okay. I, I, got a, I, I wrote it. I literally wrote it in like an hour or so. So everything. I really want to hear that again. You did How that. much? Kazoo is in it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm gonna have to go home and listen to it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
home. I, no I shirt. I just wrote it there. I didn't have time to be all presentable and shit. That's amazing. I'm just yeah. giving you a hard time, oh. but I think you did a really good job. Oh, Even you. though I never heard it, I think it's amazing that you had her thank so you. much on your mind that like the only way you could really speak to her was via music. Yeah. That's tight. You know how I came to that? How? Um, we were eating dinner and then she's like, "You still want to come? You still want me to come to like um the tapings like when we do JK party or news even though we fight and I'm like I'd rather have you fighting with me on camera than to not have you at all. Oh, <gasps> that's, that's the chorus. That is the chorus. I knew it. Okay, that's, 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 what, so good. that's what clicked in my head. That's the fucking that's chorus. When I, yeah, that's when I, I like music too. And then and then we were we were just talking and then I was like, "You know what? Every time we talk, I get too heady with shit." And then you always tell me you want to connect with me emotionally. And I'm like, music makes me fucking feel, I don't think. That's and I'm tight. like, hold on, I'm gonna do something. And then I just, that was the basis of everything is like, regardless if, you know, we're fighting or whatever, it's like, oh, you know what? At the end of the day, I can't imagine a world without this person. Mm, so I'd rather that's fucking be cute. in a nightmare with her yeah. than- In a dream with anyone else. Exactly. That's Aww. awesome. That's Joe, beautiful. that's fucking beautiful, that's man. Beautiful. I don't know how to say that in regular words, though. You, you just, just did. did. I know, but it, I had to, I, I had to reverse engineer it. Yeah. So that it clicked in my head, and I had to write it out, and and it had to start with chords and feeling first, and then I had to write out everything through verse. Yeah. So it's incomplete and po poetic, kind of. Yeah. And then I had to dissect it and go, this is what that means. That's tight. Yeah. I gotta say, you gotta start me. somewhere. Try pitching a hotel that way. It's like, I'd rather be in a nightmare at Holiday Inn than at a dream in a resort. It's like, I don't know if that works. I'm actually staying at home. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you're staying in a Holiday Inn? Oh, yeah. but... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I've been very impulsive recently where as soon as the top... I I'll like it. My... All right, after filming JK News, I actually had to leave early because we went over in time and we're supposed to be scheduled there till 7, but just... Delays happen, technical difficulties, and I didn't leave till eight, but they're still filming as we speak, but I had to come back, relieve my mom, because she needs to go home. Um, so my mom's getting ready to leave, and <laughs> the first thing, already, is the son of mama. <laughs> hey! It's the son of mama. What are you doing? Does vas a poner? Wow! <laughs> Is this from the mommy? Oh, that. Yeah. He might want me to put on my Crocs, but he's putting on my sandals. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, those? Wow! Yeah. No lo tires, no lo tires. Fine. Okay, thank you. Hey, baby. Oh, thank you. All right, so look who's back in town. Papa just had the worst Uber ride of his life. I'm I sorry. Guy that was like slamming on his brakes, going back and forth like this. And then he was swerving left to right, and then he was getting lost, and he kept giving me the Mexican history of, I mean, the history of Mexican rock and roll. And I felt like I was, like, on the worst roller coaster for a straight 30 minutes. And I, like, I feel pretty nauseous, like, I want to throw up. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Well, fine. No, that's the only thing that sucks about Uber is, like... You never I, like, know. He's trying to be nice, too, so I don't even want to rate him bad, you know? He's just the older dude, so I'm just, like... You know, tell me about all these events that happened in 1968. <laughs> Fine, I'm sorry, Papa. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Okay. All right, y'all, so we're closing it up. Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I see you guys tomorrow.